What do I mean when I say it's a muddy look on defense for a quarterback and it makes it tough for you to read? Well, coming up right now, we got quarterback training to talk about deciphering defense. And it starts right now. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Elite Athletes TV. I'm Mike Pulaski, former 11-year pro quarterback and quarterbacks coach here at EliteAthletesTV.com. The other day, we were looking at film with my quarterbacks over a recent 7-on-7 session, and I was talking to them about muddy looks on defense. And one of my young quarterbacks looked up at me and said, Coach, what do you mean by a muddy look? And I realized I use that term a lot here on the channel. And so I wanted to explain today what a muddy look is, what defenses are trying to do, how you can decipher it as a quarterback, and how you can use it against them. Before we get started, though, if you're new to the channel, if you love quarterback content, if you love football content, X's and O's, make sure that you subscribe and ring that bell. Get notified every time we have new content coming out. Give me a thumbs up if you're ready to learn about defense and how you as a quarterback can use what the defense is trying to do against them. And leave me a comment down below. Love to hear from you. Ask me a question. I'm happy to answer it. Finally, share this video out. Family, teammates, friends, fans, coaches, anybody who you think will either get a kick out of this content or can improve their game with it. We're trying to help as many young athletes, young coaches, young players as possible to improve their game and try to be the most helpful coaches on the internet. That's why we formed EliteAthletesTV.com. That's what we're trying to do for you. So share this video out, and let's help as many people as we can. Now, let's talk about what a muddy look is on defense. I'm going to show you two pieces of film, just two. There could be a million, but I'm going to show you two. And we'll talk about what it is, why defenses do it, and how you can decipher it. On top of that, I'm going to show you how, as a quarterback or as a coach, you can use it against the defense and how you can beat them at their own game. That's coming up right after the film. So don't leave because I'm going to teach you how to beat that defense. But as a quarterback, when defenses are trying to disguise coverage, when they're trying to give you a different look, say give you a too high look and spin down to cover three, or say give you a pressed up look like they're running cover zero, double A dog blitz, and then bailing out into three, they're giving you a muddy look. What they're trying to do is make you hold the ball for longer than you normally would as you decipher what's going on on defense. That gives them a chance to get home and it could take you off of some of your initial reads or initial keys in a play. Defenses do that so they can get home with the pass rush, confuse the quarterback, make you hold it for a beat longer, and disrupt your passing game and make you generally feel uncomfortable. There's ways around it. Let's take a look at film. I'll show you what I'm talking about. And then we'll talk about how to beat it and how to use it against that defense. This is what a muddy look is all about. It is third and ten. That is a big-time blitz and pressure down, trying to get teams to throw the short one and tackle them short of that first down. So, on defense, Washington State, right now, pre-snap, gives you this picket fence look. That's usually cover zero. As we move it forward, you'll see now linebackers mug up. These guys are in the A-gaps. You have another safety nickel player down low giving that threat of blitzing and then everybody on the outside looks like they are manned up straight across so to me as a quarterback right now this looks like cover zero you see everybody giving that i'm going to come look i'm going to blitz but at the snap guys are starting to back out you can see they use the snap count oregon state actually switches their play based on the coverage look they're getting. They go to a max protection. So Washington State accomplished what they wanted to. They gave a muddy look. What this is going to evolve into, though, is cover three. With these guys in hooks and backers dropping out underneath. So it's going to go from cover zero to cover three. That's the disguise. It worked because they got Oregon State to check into something different to protect themselves. Watch at the snap. Dudes are flying out. He's retreating deep middle, post safety. He's playing three match, man on the outside. This was a press bail look. Linebackers are dropping and looking up stuff inside out. Tight end had to stay into block, and so... Hook flat defender over here is left all by himself. 
But Oregon State got talked out of it because of that muddy look. Now, with Washington State dropping into coverage, when this hooks up, he's covered. When he comes through, he's covered. This man is locked down into the boundary, and there's nowhere for Jebbia to go with this ball. So, in trouble, you can see the high route gets covered because it was middle of field closed, meaning they had that post safety, that single safety back there. As a result, Washington State gets a sack on the play. So, that's why muddy coverage works for defenses. If they can get a quarterback to change a play, if they can get him to hurry or rush or not see the play, then it gets you in trouble. So here's a different look. You can see when you initially look at this, Stanford has two high safeties. One, two. Now, neither of these safeties looks like they're in cover two. This guy might be, but this guy's kind of walking around back here trying to identify trips. They're communicating with each other. As Oregon motions across, you're going to see the short side safety roll down and cover over tight end. You're going to see the corner bump out and play outside of number one into the boundary. The corner to the field is going to get into hard inside leverage, and the safety, or nickel in this case, to the field is going to also play hard inside leverage. As a quarterback, you can see right now, that's cover one. It's man. Both of these inside linebackers are staring into the ball, but there's no threat of rush. You don't have to worry about protection. You know that you've got five offensive linemen up here, and you've got four defensive linemen rushing. No secondary pressure, nothing else on here. And so you know that you're safe, you're protected. Now, Oregon runs a screen here. However, you know versus cover one, you got several options. One, big hitter, corner route over the top can be a huge hit. Runaway can be a huge hit. Tight end on a safety over the middle, some kind of over route, runaway, or just an option route off of the safety on top of him as this guy rolls down, option him in or out, can also be a winner. So you know going into it, you have confidence. I've got man, all we have to do is win in one spot. And if it's a, a high one like a corner, that's a big time hitter. Potentially even, if you like your go route and if you've got the arm strength, the go route versus man, you can throw that 50-50 ball, give your guy a chance. So you feel safe. That's why teams disguise. Not all teams do it, not all teams feel comfortable in it. But that's why teams disguise. If I get a look like this, and as a quarterback, I know I've got cover one. I can run my play. I have confidence. Going forward, I'm good to go. In this case, Oregon runs that screen. You can see rotation here. They set up just like I said. Corner outside leverage because that receiver's way inside the numbers. Safety straight over tight end in man. Nickel inside leverage in man. Corner inside leverage playing man. As they snap it, everybody's locked up. What if the quarterback was going to throw this out route? That's a winner, and he knew it versus man. But he also knows he's got this screen on over here, back getting out, these guys coming out to block for him. That's also a big winner. So, again, that muddy look is designed to get quarterbacks' eyes in the wrong place, thinking the wrong way, checking out of plays like we saw Oregon State, making those kind of mistakes, confusing quarterbacks, making them hold the ball, and as you can see, defenses get the sack. What can you do as a quarterback to keep defenses from doing that to you? Study film. Understand what teams do. If they never bring double A gap blitz, but they've got both backers up in those double A gaps, Look for the twitchy guy, the guy who looks like he's getting out. If, they're, if they tell you with body language that they're not coming, they're probably not coming. And so be aware of that. That takes film study. It takes reps. I understand for young quarterbacks, you don't see it all the time. But don't let them panic you into making a bad decision. Remember, that game clock usually gives you lots of time. And as a quarterback, you got to manage that clock and understand it. So study film. Know your opponent. Use their weaknesses against them. Use their tells. Use their body language against them. That's the first thing that you can do. Number two, use your snap count. That's the ultimate tool as a quarterback. I did a video on snap count, and I will put the card right up here so you can see how to use that voice inflection, how to use that snap count as a tool. If you do that, you call it on two, and you get up there, green 90, green 90. Say, hut! 
they've got to show themselves, right? They can't be caught out of position. They show it right there. Now, if you need to check out of something, if you like where you're at, you know where you're going to be. So use that snap count to your advantage and get them out of position or get them to show their hands. A lot of teams nowadays, and you can watch college football, and you see the quarterback come up and go, clap, and all of a sudden defense gets out. That's the same thing as using your snap count. They'll have a one, one clap, two clap count. When the first clap, they show what they do. The quarterback will look back to the sideline, either gets a new play or the coach says, you're good, let's go with it, and they keep it on. So that's what all that false clapping is about or the one clap, two clap count. It's to get that defense to declare what they're doing so you don't have that muddy look. Here's the third way, and it's also using your snap count, but this is different. Go on first sound early and often. If you come up and you go on first sound and you catch them in that bluff blitz look or you catch them in that false pressure look or you whatever disguise they're in and you catch them off guard and you gash them for a big one, they're going to be real hesitant to get into that muddy look again for you. How do you do that? Use it when you have what are called carry plays. Call and run it. C-A-R-I. Carry plays. Come up there with power or trap or counter or toss or maybe you've got go routes on the outside, something that's a timing route. Maybe you've got outs on the outside. And if they want to get muddy on you, if they want to give you that bad look, they want to disguise, now you go on first sound. You can catch them out of position and maybe get that big shot. If you got a max protect on, that's a great time to go on first sound. So catch them with first sound. Don't get caught yourself in the trap of having to be in exactly the right play every single time. Have some plays that you can just go into a game, you know, no matter what, I'm running this thing. And when you do, go on first sound. Catch them off guard. I did a couple of videos that will help you out with this muddy look and understanding when defenses are actually bringing pressure and when they're bluffing pressure. I'll put the card for the bluff blitz right up here. You can see that, maybe understand better because there's a lot more film in that one in terms of what teams are trying to do when they're giving you that bluff blitz and how you can figure that out as a quarterback. And then I also have one on how to tell when teams are actually bringing pressure. So I'll put that card right up here as well. And you can take a look at that one. That'll give you a real sense of that, that different look, the pressure look, kind of that bluff blitz look, and you'll understand it better. If you like what we did here today, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. Get notified every time we have something out that can help you improve your game. Give me a thumbs up if you understand now how to beat that muddy coverage and use your snap count, how to use carry plays on your side to get after that defense and catch them in a bind. And leave me a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you, your thoughts, what we just did, or on anything football. Ask me a question. I'm happy to answer it. Finally, don't forget to share this video out. Let's help as many young athletes as we can. Let's help improve football players' lives. Let's help improve young coaches' lives. And let's make the sport better overall. I appreciate you watching. A little bit of quarterback training here today. Hopefully improve your football skills, improve your football IQ, so that you understand the game better and make you a better player. I'll talk to you again soon.